Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop. Today I have for you my March 2020, um, what's it called? Plan or flip through, right? Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, so you know I haven't been doing traditional plan with me's for quite some time. I've been doing the flip throughs just because regular plan with me's kind of stress me out. But I have had a request to do a regular plan with me. So I am gonna try and do that here in the next week or so. I was going to try to do it for instead of this video, or not instead of this video, but it, anyways, this week, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm gonna do the March 2020 flip through, and then hopefully this month, April, I will give you a regular plan with me, one or two of those, and see how that goes, and you know, I can get pretty rambly on those. All right, so this is my month spread for 2020. I'm in my Moxie horizontal planner here, and I'll go through each week. So month view, simple, didn't do much different, I don't think even, okay, so, Clearly I did. In February, I did not really use any stickers. I wrote directly on the planner and used my mild liners to color code what each thing was based on that category. So in March, I changed it up here and I just used our um, month labels in the light red because all of these things were pretty much work related. So that is what I used. This was just for client appointments, um, different things related to work that were time sensitive or deadlines. Um, I did have a canceled appointment, just put a line through that. I could have used a canceled sticker there, but I didn't have any close by. So that is pretty much all I do or have been doing with my monthly view. All right, so let's go into the first week. So I'm gonna bypass all the goal stuff because you know I like to do that separately that, than just kind of make this video 17 hours long. So we're just gonna go into each week and see how I did it. Okay, so this was the first week of March and I used the Inkwell Press 2020 palette Oasis for my color scheme. I started to kind of get a little bit tired of always using the same colors, um, using all the moxie colors, and I wanted to use all the stickers that I have access to. And honestly, because this planner is so neutral, you can really use any sticker colors that you like. So I wanted to change it up. So I used the Oasis, I used like this kind of soft smoky pink rose color and the like soft green and alternated those. So I have my to-do flags. I'm still splitting this in two here, leaving the left side for kind of time sensitive things and the right side for my to-do list. And then this column becomes like kind of randomness that I'll talk about here in a second. So this time I used our outlined hexagons, which I actually really like that sticker. Um, I think even more so than the solid hexagons, but you'll see I used that kind of the rest of the month. So here's what did we do on this week? So we have those two spaces divided, or the space divided in half. I did use my kettlebell here to indicate my three strength workouts for the week. Um, I did have the little shoe icon indicating um, our bigger walks or hikes. So that looked like it was somewhat of a success here. And then just had work-related to-do list for the most part here running on the to-do side. On this far right column, the little computer for this week indicated, I've been tracking kind of our, our work day roughly as far as when we start and when we stop. So that's kind of the first thing that's on here. I think this kind of using this in three sections like this is holdover from using my ankle press and being used to those daily bots. It's almost like my brain cannot handle not having three things on this side from years of using the Inkwell Press uh, layout. So the top is my work hours. The second one's kind of like a personal task. Sometimes it's financially related. You have savings transfer there. Sometimes it's house related. So you'll see a, a, a cleaning icon. And then here I did use a little circle with the spoon and fork for dinner, um, kind of menu planning. Um, so that's how I use that. On Saturday, I did have a little list of some of the things we had to do on Saturday because I usually don't use my planner at all on Saturday Sunday, and Sunday. Had one thing to do on Sunday, so put that there. And then down in this bottom section, I've been kind of keeping with, I'm pretty sure this is the same every week. It is. These are the same one, two, three, four, five, six kind of habits. Um, for the most part, these are automated for me, but I like to kind of check them off each week. What I really need to do, I think, for April is use our um, like daily task sticker somewhere on here for my automated habits and then use this section for things that I'm still working on building. I need to, st I'm still working out the kinks with my habit tracking in this planner. So anyways, down here did my six things that are my daily habits kind of every day, almost in sequential order of how they occur. And then I just did a handwritten little highlight section. I've found that 
by in February that I really missed having um, a highlight section that I created in my ankle press vertical or classic last year. So I'm using this space to do that because when I go back and reflect and kind of try to figure out what's going on with my life, things I need to change, how things are going, this little two or three words just helps me go, oh yeah, that's when we did that or that's when that happened or that was a good thing. Um, it just brings my attention to that as a ref, like a way to reflect. Okay, so this is kind of how that worked. I did have a few, I guess I should say, that outlined boxes here for time-related things, Skyped with my mom, had a house hunting appointment, and then I just used our budget sticker there. So that was week one. Week two, completely different colors. So in this week, I used our, um, our new Inkle Press throwback kits. So I'm using Tidal Pool, which is one of my favorite Inkle Press palettes ever. Um, in this spread, which actually kind of goes good because you, the little bit of color that is in the Moxie is here in the um, month and date. So it's green, so it kind of goes, but you really honestly use any color. You can't tell if it's matching or not. Okay, same layout. We have the dividers with a header here. I personally do think I like the look of a flag header in this banner when you're kind of cutting the space in half versus the like just harsh cut off there of the classic header. I don't know, weird little obsessive thing for me. It's just an aesthetic thing I don't like. So I did use mix, intermix using those throughout the month. Okay, so same kind of layout here. We have um, a running to-do list. I alternated the dot stickers this time, ran out of those and ended up going to the squares. Um, so that's that side used the circle dumbbell for my strength workouts and then I have the little shoe circle for our walks. Um, I did use the like small flags to note a few food related tasks that were kind of time sensitive like start the crock pot, start the pizza dough, stuff like that. Did have a time based appointment here so I used our little time labels that come in that kit. So there is that side. Again, middle is my list. This time here on the right for work hours, I used a little geometric arrow. I really do like that sticker. Threw in a few different icon things. I had to buy dog food, so used um, the little paw. Um, for my meal tracking or menu planning here at the bottom, I put L and D and tracked both lunch and dinner. You can see I'm super routine, like pretty much the same things happen every week on the same days. You have a vacuum there. Um, I use a little asterisk guide to just look into, put look into camping. That was one of my kind of fun goals for the month. Um, we were disappointed because everything was booked. This was pre-quarantine, so <laughs> we still thought camping could be a possibility, but everything was booked because we're like novice campers and thought, well, yeah, we can wait this long to book camping. No, everybody books camping as soon as like the new openings come you know, available. Anyways, um, did use our big sticky note to note the new releases. I think I've done that a few times and I do it again the next week. I don't know if I love this. It just kind of takes up a lot of space, which is good, but it also looks unbalanced. So again, just weird aesthetic thing for me. Um, I did, we had a house appointment here. So I put a label there and I had a coffee date with a friend. So I put that there. Now, typically I would have the time-based things over here but um, I use this ginormous sticker and these things got scheduled after I put this down. Plus these kind of tend to be like work related things, but anyways, it works. Um, did use a coffee icon there. Did my same doodad for Saturday here where I have, I use a day off flag, pretty, I mean, I know I have those days off, but I just used it cause it was in the kit. Um, did mark a to do for Saturday. We had a house we did to look at. We didn't go on a walk either day here. I did use our weekend banner, which I really like this, and then had used the arrow there. On this particular Sunday, I wrote some of our, excuse me, to do's down and then made a little to buy list here with that label. So this is kind of a hodgepodge, but I'm trying to really use Saturday and Sunday more effectively than I have in the past because usually they're just blank. So I am trying to note like some of the chores we need to do or make a list of like a task list or a, sorry, a shopping list, things like that, kind of throughout the weekend use that space up better. I had another house appointment to look at there. This is obviously the same, the habit. Um, I used our uh, kind of sidebar weekly uh, sticker as my highlights, just wrote the word highlights up there and same thing, just two or three words for each day indicating something that was a highlight, a memory, a positive thing um, that I wanna make a note of. And then I had a little next week list here. I should have used, in this kit there's a next week header. I should have put that there, I just forgot. Um, I just made a note of two things I needed to remember of for the upcoming week. So that is week two. Let's jump into crazy festive green St. Patrick's Day week overload of green. 
spread. Okay, so this is my monochrome St. Patrick's Day spread. And initially this was gonna be a good idea, but I'm like, holy shit, this is a lot of green. So we're just going with it because I actually got a lot done this week, even though this looks crazy. So I think sometimes you have to remember that effective planning, whatever that actually means, doesn't have to be pretty, guys. You can just make it look insane and it's okay. All right, so we have my usual, nothing changes really with my layout, dividing it in half. Everything's obviously one color. This is from our single sheet samplers, and my goal was to use every sticker on it. I did that, which I was gonna show you, except for two stickers. There was like the birthday sticker and the doctor icon. Everything else I used and I supplemented with a few other green stickers, but I used a whole sheet of stickers, which was pretty exciting because I never do that. So let's kind of go over this, same thing, same layout here. So what I did different, I did use the, um, medium or small, whatever you want to call it, flags here to track work and just put a W in there, wrote down the times. I did use our new workout boxes here for my three strength workouts. Um, I, I do love these stickers. I just feel like I need to figure out, because it says workout here already, um, and the way my workout routine works is that I have workout A, B, and C, but this kind of having the word workout next to the word workout looks redundant, so I need to, when I use these come up with something else to write in there. Um, anyways, that's just a random thing. So then over here on the left, we have time-based things. So I use the solid, um, like single line boxes to write something. This was not necessarily time-based, but this was remembering to check in with a client on Monday. This was a time-based thing. I had a, a, a Skype call with a colleague. I wanted to check in with another coaching client here. So time stuff went over here and then I had run out of these because I used them already and didn't know I had other time things coming up. So I just used the little star icon. With, I had a 12.30 appointment with a colleague here um, and just highlighted it with the matching green. Um, want to remind myself at 7 p.m. to put out our trash. Uh, use the flag here to note a coaching call at 5 p.m. Use the heart to remind myself of a live online. I did a live Instagram workout. I led one um, this week, which was, was that last week or the week before? That was the week before. Um, so you can see, I just kind of like randomly tried to use what was on this sheet. So I just had the little heart for that. Uh, the I used the dumbbell icon for the other live Instagram workout I hosted. I had an 11 a.m. call with a client and we had a 1 p.m. going to look at a house. So I, they're really these icons that I use are not necessarily indicative or of the particular appointment. So I was kind of a stretch to use all these stickers, but it works. Um, on this particular day, Thursday, we decided that we were like gonna go look at a house, we we're gonna do some other things, so we did not really get much work done. So pretty much every work thing, other than me meeting with the client, having client call, um, and doing my Instagram live workout, got transferred to the next day. So this was kind of like a no work day other than appointments. Um, you do see, same thing here, vacuum on the Tuesday, Use this side again for um, personal finance tasks, pay my Amex bill right here. Use that to m clean the bathrooms, which didn't happen, got bumped to the next day. So you can see this layout is very similar. Again, I'm using the shoe icon here to indicate steps. This was the start on Thursday the 19th of our 10, my quarantine 10K steps a day challenge I'm hosting on my Jess Lewis site. Um, so we started that, and now you'll see going forward in the next spreads how I'm tracking steps on a daily basis. So that's there. Um, I did use the post-it notes on, or the sticky note stickers on the kit for new releases again. And here I, we had a 2 p.m. appointment to look at a house in Cookville, so I put that. Um, and same things here, you can see to-do list. I ran out of the shoe sticker, so I just put what I walked, I put my steps there. Um, this little alarm icon remind me to schedule my Instagram posts. And then on Saturday, put the shoe for a hike where we hiked. Um, we had to get air in the tires, so I'm like, I gotta use this car sticker because again, it was operation use a full sampler. Um, did use the little food uh, or the kind of meal plan icon for Matt and I's lunch date. Um, another dog walk here, so I used that, to-do list. Laundry icon to do sheets and towels, remind ourselves that we Westworld was on. Here I use the extra little divider to kind of just decoratively create space between the habits and the highlights. Here again, just wrote the highlights out and used that little arrow sticker that is in the sampler sheet. So this was like crazy and again, kind of a stretch at times to use certain stickers to indicate things, but I got a lot done that week. So then let's go to last week, which is the last week, full week of 
the month, right? Yes. Okay, so this was another monochrome week. This was my grayscale. This was actually inspired by um, Hannah on Instagram. It's, I think her handle is Han Can Plan. I'll link it below. Um, and she is phenomenal hand lettering. I love her spreads. And a couple weeks ago, she did a grayscale spread. I was like, I love gray. I want to try that. So I did it. I don't love how mine turned out compared to hers, but she was using a vertical. And I think this would definitely be different in a vertical than in the horizontal. And I clearly know why I love outline box stickers because I can't draw a straight line or a square, even with a ruler to save my life. Um, and I clearly don't know how to use highlighters without making it look like a kindergartner drew this. So it was a little bit of a hot mess and now I know why I like stickers. Okay, so this week, you got it, same spread here, middle list, side appointments, personal. So uh, again, even in the midst of this quarantine, I, I had a lot of stuff going on because I did finally launch my JessMLewis.com site. So I'm doing weekly blogs there and doing some other things, which is now obviously increasing my workload to create content and kind of start to um, put myself out there for that. Um, I'll talk more about that in my goals situation, but that's why these lists are a little bigger. So here on this particular day, I didn't have any appointments, time-based things going on. So I just took this list and brought it over to this side. This is time, days like today's like I'm on this day is like I miss having a vertical planner because you have such a lot of room to write a list. Um, you can see here, I did use in our grayscale kit, the shoe icon, and that was marking my steps per day. Oops, forgot to put it from Sunday for our 10K, quarantine 10K steps a day challenge. So I put that there. Um, I did like kind of do this offshoot of today header over to the left to kind of like, I don't know, make it look like here's my appointments, here's my list. So that looks okay-ish. Not sure how I feel about that. Over here on our right, I did use the flags again for work and turned them horizontal and did my lovely hand-drawn box, tracked my hours, financial task here. And then I tried to emulate what Hannah, Sierra, Katie, all these people that are really good at drawing things and have much better lettering skills than I do. Um, and where they're using like an icon and making a box around it. So I emulated that here. We have Monday, Wednesday, Friday with my workout. Tuesday, use a little vacuum one to clean the house, um, use a little grocery shopping one on Thursday, and I think that was the end of it for that concept. Um, did throw things in here, called my mom, called a friend, had to make sourdough, so again, using as much of these stickers as I can. Um, over here, we're using the appointment labels again for different time-based things. I did like, I had, I think I got this idea from one of our customers and I can't remember who does this. There's a few of you that do this where you'll take like um, two time labels or appointment labels and use one with one orientation and the other in the other way. So 10 a.m. here with the dark side of this two-tone on the left and then for the next appointment, just flipped it. So I kind of like how that worked out. Um, this, this uh, blah, 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 I am talking so fast. This appointment got canceled, so I used the little arrow in the kit, which there's a canceled arrow in the kit and I totally forgot about that. So I could have used that. Um, okay. I did spend some time, a significant amount of time filming videos on Thursday. So I used a flag and layered it with the video camera and let's go over here again. You see the sticky note for the new release. I like to use the sticky notes to just kind of bring attention to something that's a little more substantial time wise or, you know, project wise to kind of take up space on the planner. So you're like, I can't schedule other things because this is going on. Now, granted, the new releases don't take up time. We've done all that work, you know, leading up to this day, but it's just kind of like, don't forget that's what's going on that day. Um, what else? What else? Sunday just ran or Saturday just ran a to-do list. Noted that we went on a hike and a picnic on Saturday. Same concept here with my weekend banner, had the arrows each pointing to it. I did, we decided to do some work yesterday. This was yesterday. Um, so we got some, we sat in the office and did some work. We usually never work on Sundays, but today, which is Monday, we're going to look at a house that's 90 minutes away. So we're like, okay, let's get as many orders and work done as we can. And then we'll have a shorter work day on Monday. So we decided to, do that. Um, so we did work for a few hours on Sunday, which again is totally weird. Did my highlights here. Habits are the same usage there. I did make a tiny little next week to-do list with two things I needed to remember to do for next week, which is now this week, and then noted two things that I need to do for this week, which was last week, um, 
neither of which I did. So that got bumped over to this week. So like I always do, let me show you my first spreads for April. So this is what we're looking at for April so far. No time-based appointments. Operation hashtag stay home has definitely impacted my coaching business as far as um, my fitness coaching. So I have far less going on, unfortunately, right now there. So if you need any coaching, let me know because I have some openings. All right, um, and then we'll flip into right now, which is this week, and let's get there. So this is my, which I'm pretty excited about. I was like, the other day I was thinking like, oh, I need gray and yellow. I love the combination of gray and yellow. So I took the Moxie Life, our Moxie Life coordinating um, single color samplers in yellow and then the rest of my grayscale kit that I haven't used all of it yet. And I'm just alternating those two colors. So this is my kind of semi before the pen, same layout so you can kind of see how this looks um, before it gets all crazy. Same habits, using the highlights, just use a flag, kind of handwriting those there, have my work boxes again, have my to-do list, have my appointments here and my little shoe icons and then some personal tasks in the middle. So that is going to be week one of April. Okay, so that is my full March 2020 flip through, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. How did your March go? I know a lot of us are, you know, just going through this quarantine thing and it is making life very crazy and uncertain and unstructured and all of those things. So I know it can be a really rough time. So feel free to join our Facebook group, guys. It's the Knockout Tribe over on Facebook. Um, if you need support, if you wanna talk planners, how people are using their planners to help manage their day and dealing with kids being home and all of that or working from home for the first time, go into our group, you know, connect there and that can sometimes help us having that connection. I was actually thinking of doing like a virtual, like a Zoom meeting plan with me for our April um, KO Live. I thought that might be kind of fun. So you guys can, we can like see each other. So let me know if that might be something cool you'd be into. And we'll talk more about life stuff when I do my March goals, reflection-y, goal setting stuff. Okay, so I hope you guys are doing well. Comment below if you have any questions, join our Facebook group, and I will see you guys soon in the next video.